How to scroll through preset effects with a button in WLED. First, select the Add Preset button. Start by entering a useful name for the preset. Then, uncheck the Use Current State box to reveal the API command field. This is where you will need to enter this special command. The range of the presets is provided by P1 and P2, where the value for P1 is the first cycle preset, and the value for P2 is the last cycle preset. The PL parameter applies the entire preset, and the tilde character provides the instruction to step to the next preset in the list. For example, here I will choose to skip the first three and set up the command to only scroll from preset 4 to preset 8. For the ID of this preset, I like to enter a higher value to separate it from the others. After clicking Save, the preset is ready to use. Now you will need to take this preset ID value and enter it into the Button Actions section. This is located in Config under the Time and Macros tab. Choose which button action you would like to use to scroll through the effects and enter it there. Then click Save at the top. The button should now work to scroll through the different effects. One additional suggestion. Now that the button is configured, you will want an easy way to turn the lights on and off. One simple way to do this is if you move the preset cycle command to either the long press or double press actions. If you leave a value of 0 for the short press action of the button 0, that will activate the default built-in command for toggling on and off. The other way to include a simple on-off toggle command is to create another preset specifically for that action. You can use ampersand t equals 0 for only turning off, or a value of 1 for only turning on, or a value of 2 for the toggle command. There are many other custom API commands which could be entered in the field here in order to suit your project. I recommend reviewing the WLED documentation, which contains a lot of helpful information with tables of all the capabilities. Remember to leave a like or a comment if you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.